Hi, today I'm going to show you how to create a digital binder online using Google Sites. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go and create a Google Site and you do that through your Google Drive. Click New and Google Sites, add a header and then you've it's it's there, it's already created. So here is my front page and I want to add another page to this particular site because I'm going to add a page for each one of my students. So I add a page for Samuel Daniel, he's one of my students. And I'm going to click the plus sign again. I'm going to add another page. I'm going to add Jack Daniel. He's going to be another one of my students. And no, these are not my real kids' names. And I'm also going to take off the titles of each of these pages because we won't need them. Okay. So now if you'll notice that at the top, you, there's a navigation. And there's the home page. And it shows Samuel Daniel. And it shows Jack Daniel. Well, I don't want this on there because I don't want my kids getting to anybody else's page. So in order to prevent this, I need to hide the navigation of these pages. So I click the three dots and I click hide from navigation. And when I do that, that page will disappear from the navigation at the top, which is what I want. Okay. So now I click hide navigation, page one, and you'll notice that there's only one page that's left in there. So I click the three dots again, I click hide from navigation, and now none of the pages are going to be shown. I'm still on the home page right now, but there's no way to get to those other pages. So I'm going to publish this. And when I publish the site, it's going to give me a different URL than when I, what I used to edit it. Okay, so I want to view the I want to view the published site. So here's the published site right here. This is this is the home page of the published site. Okay. So now I want to go to uh, Jack Daniel's page right here. So I click on that. I'm gonna I want to view the publish site again and it's going to give me a URL and this is the URL that I'm going to need to make it password protected which is really really cool you'll see if it says edit at the end that's not the URL that is a published site okay so now I'm going to go to this um, other site called thinfi that's t-h-i-n-f-i -I. and what that's going to do first of all it's going to shorten the URL for me but also it's going to allow me to put a password on it. So I put in the URL for the published page and you'll see that this one is Jack Daniels page. And then I'm also going to put a password in with that page. So I'm going to type in the password. It's a secret and make sure I'm not a robot, shorten URL. And when I do that, it's going to actually give me another URL. You'll see that. That's the URL that I'm actually going to put on the front navigation page because this is going to be the only way you can get to the site is by using this password. So now I'm back on the home page and I'm going to insert a button. Okay, so I go to insert, scroll down just a little ways and I'm going to see button. So I click button and the name of the button. Of course, this is Jack Daniel's page. So we're going to put Jack Daniel and I'm going to put that URL that ThinFee gave me and I'm going to click insert. I'm going to pull that button out just a little bit so that way we can read the whole name on there. And there we go. So now I'm going to do the same thing with Samuel Daniels page. I don't have the URL yet for that one. So I'm going to go to his page. I'm going to get the public, the published URL. I'm going to highlight that, copy it. I'm going to go back into ThinFee. And when I get into ThinFee, I'm going to, I'm going to paste that URL in there and add a password to it, a password that only I know and I'm going to share with my student. And now I'm going to be able to use this to um, put on, on but the button for Samuel Daniel. Okay, So I go to the Samuel Daniel, I'm going to copy, I'm going to paste that URL now into Samuel Daniel's button and I hit save. And once I do that, this is, this is a really cool part. So I'm going to put it in there, get the button in there. And once it's in there, when I click on that button, it's going to take me to Finfi, actually, which is really cool. I want to view it as a published site again because I have to republish every time that I make a change because then it's not live anymore. So I publish it, and now I'm going to click on a button, and it's going to take me to the page. Here we go and it's asking me for a password. So I have to put in the password in order to get into that particular page. So that's the only way that they're gonna be able to get to that page. They can't find it anywhere because the navigation has been blocked. 
which means that my students' work is protected by a password that I've created that only I know and only they will know. We're not going to share passwords with anyone. Thanks for watching.